Listen, I'm cheap. I'll admit it. I, I don't like spending money. I don't have to. Hey guys, Tony here. Um, I've been uh, rebuilding a, one of my machines. Not a 3D printer, not a laser engraver, laser cutter, or anything like that, but a uh, electronics pick and place machine. I use a pick and place machine to place uh, components on circuit boards. It, it does the job automated and makes it easier for shaky handed guys like me. But uh, due to some lack of support from the manufacturer, and being that it's been so long since I purchased it, it was time to uh, go through it, clean it up, and actually convert it to open PNP, which is open pick and place. So you'll hear me refer to pick and place, which is what the, the machine does. It picks up parts and places them on the board. During the conversion, um, th this little stepper motor right here, um, it, it didn't work. I did some testing and, and checked the coils inside because, I mean, a stepper motor is basically a motor. There's coils and a magnet in there. Well, one set of coils is dead shorted, so I probably fed it too much juice. These little guys are really difficult to find. It's got a dual shaft, you know, they're obviously connected, and it is hollow. When I did locate this little guy, it, uh, listen, I'm cheap. I'll admit it. I, I don't like spending money. I don't have to. I kind of had to think of an alternative. The alternative that I had was, well, we know this is NEMA 11, which is on the smaller side. There is one more NEMA size smaller. We found a standard NEMA 11 matching all the specs of this little guy. But as you notice, it's uh, missing something. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna see if this works. We're gonna cross our fingers and hope that this little idea that, uh, that Tony had is going to work. The plan is, because the windings are bad in here and the windings are part of the shell, if these are identical, we are hoping to take them both apart and move this guy into this one's windings. It, 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 in my head, it should work. So let's get it. The first thing to do is uh, clear up these shafts, which these little bits right here, these collars are actually magnetic. That's how it holds the, um, the fittings onto the shaft. So what I'm doing is I'm taking out these little grub screws so these collars slide off and we'll put one there and then we'll do the same with this one I'm trying to do this so you can see but it, it's i'm not doing anything crazy the bit keeps sticking uh, mostly because i mean this is magnetic so we'll just put it in there but we're just taking these collars off real quick get them out of the way all right, so we'll put this collar over here. So now basically we've got two identical motors, two, two steppers, except this one's got a hollow shaft. This one's got a slightly shorter solid shaft, but all the other specs match. So the idea is let's take this apart, get the guts out of it, and get the parts we need. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to put the old one over here. I'm going to take this new one apart. These four screws come out. Now I haven't taken this apart yet. So if it doesn't work, we're both surprised. But I'm not surprised. I'm more hopeful that it will work and we'll be surprised when it works. So get this four screw. Okay, and obviously they put a sticker over it. Let me grab some tweezers and we'll pull these screws the rest of the way out. Okay. Now 
No. I'm gonna cut it. Well, we can peel it. So I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's not like I'm gonna return it. All right. So I'm gonna take this cap off. We should see a spring washer and a bearing. Here's the bearing. The spring washer is should be directly in there. Now, the, well, the part we need to pull out is this uh, this magnet. And we'll see there's a bearing on this side too. We can take this cap off as well. We can grab it here and push. We don't. I don't think we really need to, but we did. There we go. So there's the bearing I was telling you about for this one. Okay, so I'm going to leave that as is. So for now, we're going to take this guy, put him here. We're going to do the same thing for this fella. This is the bad one. What we want is we want the shaft and the magnets on it. This one I have had apart. I had it apart when I was checking just to make sure it wasn't something that I was missing. So yes, I have had this one apart. Okay, same thing. Four screws. I'm gonna pull them out. Put them over here. Okay. Same thing. Pull the cap. See, there's the spring washer. Pull this cap. See, there's his bearing. Okay. So the bearings may not come off. I, the bearings on this motor weren't bad. So I'm going to keep those on there and we'll see if we can get that one out. But here's where the fun part happens. We know the coils here are bad. So let's push this out. Okay. All right. That's this is the part we need. We're gonna leave that there. This is the bad part. So we'll put him there. Now this one, we need to push it out. And that's the good one. So we're gonna put that there. Now back to here. We got that little spring washer. But, okay. Now we're gonna put it in the good one. It should go, oh boy, like a glove. All right, now, the thing is, because of the bearings, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, the old cap, and put it on the new housing. There's that, that spring washer in there. I'm gonna just put it straight through here. And we're probably gonna have to press because of that bearing get it centered where it needs to be but let's put this other cap on bearings there and we're gonna press it together okay so now what we've got is we've got these new windings around the shaft that uh, I need it. So if we just put these screws back in, we should have the stepper that we need. Okay, that's that. So now we'll go back and put these magnetic collars back on. This should be it. This should be it. So. I am going to take this and go slap it into the machine, wire it up, and we'll give it a test.